Central Virginia, and I have just perpetrated the Great Squash Leaf Massacre. Had to do it. I had to be done. And now, my friends, I'll take you through the crime scene. Exhibit A. Exhibit A. A whole lot of leaves strewn about willy-nilly on the ground. Exhibit B. Another massive pile of leaves strewn about on the ground. These will be composted. There's also a lot of the fruit that did not germinate. You can see what I mean there. Exhibit C on the north side of the Brassica Tunnel. Another small stash of massacred leaves. And here's a final pile of squash leaves. As you can see, as you can see, this was a brutal, brutal trimming. Here are my squash plants. Uh, they are taking over the universe here. I have pruned them many times, but they got a bad da badly damaged by the hail and they were overgrown. And I was getting a little bit of powdery mildew starting to set in. These plants have been producing since about oh, the beginning of June, or early June, and they have been uh, very productive. However, it is the part of the season now where things can begin to slow down. So um, I have basically three squash plants here. You can still see some leaves that have had hail damage. I might well come back and take those out. Uh, probably that big one for sure. The idea is to open up this plant for better airflow and also to let these younger leaves that are down at the bottom come up and uh, they're gonna be healthier. I was noticing on this yellow squash plant that there was an awful lot of fruit that did not uh, germinate. And I think that's because the, the foliage was so dense over top here, it just, uh, the pollinators couldn't get in. I've also seen uh, the squash vine board be flying around here uh, the last couple days. So I'm sure that somewhere on these plants, there are some uh, eggs and I'd like to be able to see those, have a better chance at seeing them. I, I have one little plant down here that I just think I'm gonna pull. It's got a few little leaves on it, so I thought I'd maybe give it a chance to regenerate. Um, but it's really not doing anything at all. This plant, I've still got some leaf damage on as well. In any case, hopefully these squash plants will give a few more, at least a couple more weeks of production before my other squash plants start coming up. Thanks for watching. Happy gardening.